Hi, I'm Paul Remdy, and I'm here with Oliver Binder. Uh, he is he works he runs the company that makes this absolutely fantastically beautiful sailplane right here. This is the Binder EB29R, which is their highest performance sailplane. That's the highest performance sailplane in the world, it would seem. And uh, the uh, uh, it's been in production for, for maybe 10 years now, the R version? The R version is now since 2016 okay. in production. Okay. And we have produced now, I think, 18 gliders. Hmm. So we have produced 10 single seat gliders with the new R wing mm -hmm. and eight double seat mm -hmm. gliders. The double seat is the name is the EB29DR. Mm -hmm. So D is for double seat and mm -hmm. R for the new racing wing. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's, it's uh, yeah, it would be good that we have a double seat here, but uh, yeah, no, no, no gliders flying here in the double seat. Uh, but uh, this would be very nice to see in the fast condition uh, with a double seat how good it works. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the the fuselage is only stretched. Yeah, it's maybe. only 28 centimeters. Yeah, and the rest is the same. Yeah, the fin and the wings and everything is the same. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so um, you can fly with the double seat with two persons here and uh, this. I would think that could be strategically, to have two minds thinking and looking at the clouds could be a yeah. big advantage. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Do you, have you sold any of the, the uh, EB-28s lately? Or are those still selling? Or? The last EB-28 was sold uh, one and a half years ago. Okay. But uh, you can order it. It's okay. not a problem. Mm -hmm. yeah. The... Um, well, I'm, I'm a big fan of, of your sailplanes. Um, I, I would thank you for, uh, when I was in Germany, thank you for giving me a tour of your factory. I was extremely impressed and, and very thankful for that because I, am I uh, uh, someday I hope to get together some friends and, and yeah, buy one yeah, of these. Yeah. We will see. Yeah, we are a small company in Germany. Mm -hmm. We are between 10 and 12 workers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we have um, some things to do. We are building gliders. Then we building engine, the self launch engines for Champiert, for mm -hmm. HPH, mm -hmm. for the HPH, gl HPH gliders, mm -hmm. and for our gliders. And then we make maintenance on all the gliders, especially on our gliders, and maintenance on the self launch engines, on the solo engines. So if somebody has an old DG400 or something that has a, the solo engine anyway. The solo engine and anyway, the Rotax engines are now, yeah. yeah. It's hard to get uh, spare parts for it, so it's nearly out of maintenance. How many of the electric version of the EB29DR have you sold? Uh, we have produced only one. Okay. It's a EB29D. Oh, that's right, not the R version. Not the R version, it's the older version. Mm -hmm. And in the new R-Wing we don't fit any accus because the profile is very thin. No room for batteries. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, great. Well, what's new with the EB-29R? The, uh, there have been a few technical advances in the last yeah, 10 years. I think. Yeah, yeah. After the wing, we have uh, made a modification on the tail. We have now a um, mm -hmm. retractable and steerable tail wheel mm -hmm. since four years. And since four years, we have also a new tail. The, the thinner, the horizontal, or the, horizontal or the, tail, the fin, both, okay, both, both is okay. modified. Uh -huh. And yeah, this is um, yeah more for high speed mm -hmm. that we need here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Great, and this is a 28 meters. Yes, yeah, 20, 28 meters wingspan and 40.9 square meters. That's the wing with okay. 28 meters. It sounds like the wing loading is pretty similar between this and the JS5, yeah. even the JS1. Yeah, we have f 57 wing load with 850 kilos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, while well, the EBs are doing very well at the contest here, you had some big day wins. Uh, Michael Zomer and Philippe yeah, Levine yeah. are both doing very yeah, well. Yeah, but you don't need only a good glider. You need need all, also the best pilots of the world yeah. to fly the glider yeah. to be in a good position here. Yeah. So and I think we have good two German pilots here mm -hmm. on the EB29R. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's, are, so you're, are you crewing for Michael Sommer? Yeah, I'm crewing for Michael Sommer. And if somebody has a problem, I can help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great, great. Uh, anything to see in the cockpit here? Anything? Yeah, the uh, pedals. Uh, we have to make a changing on the pedals. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, it's more linear. Mm -hmm. So you can work a little bit, yeah, mm -hmm. smoother. And if you fly seven, eight hours, so it's more easy for the legs. Okay. And yeah, and then we have now here a new engine unit for. Here the new uh, new system mm -hmm. and yeah 
and that's uh, that's it in the cockpit. I remember seeing in some videos on an EB28, uh, it looked like the throttle was. Yeah, it's uh, on the cable. A cable. Uh, yeah, so yeah. This is a bit more advanced. This is a more newer design. Yeah, newer design. Correct. And we have, uh, but this is um, in every EB29 um, uh, electrical gear mm -hmm. and also an electrical trim here. Uh huh. And but this is uh, standard. Okay. Neat. Uh, when I toured your factory, you mentioned that a lot of I noticed that a lot of the components were machined. Machined parts like the landing gear, and things. yeah. Rather than steel tube, it was a lot. Yeah, of well, we have parts, a lot of a lot of aluminium parts. Mm -hmm. uh, who machining? Yeah. Also here, you see the handles here, mm -hmm. and yeah, the completely gear. Also the completely retractable gear, mm -hmm. and also the, some parts in the wing. Mm. It, uh, uh, the landing gear, the it's hard to see here, but yeah, it definitely has a very elegant. Uh, uh, well engineered look yeah to this this beautiful. gear is made for 900 kilo yeah and you see here it's very small door so it's um yeah mm -hmm. it's, it's a very nice system mm -hmm. and we never had problems here hmm. well um and you're located where in germany what's the small the town you're in uh, the, the town is ostheim mm -hmm. and uh, it's 20 kilometers east of the wasserkuppe mm -hmm. so uh yeah Great. It's in Bavaria. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, thank you for taking the time to, to show me the, the glider today. I, I, I really think it's the most beautiful glider in the world and definitely the highest performance. Or We'll see. I mean, the contest is going very well. The, yeah, the gliders so are doing well. The pilots are We doing are well. now in the middle of the contest. So yeah. we have now fly five days. Mm -hmm. Now, but, uh, but I know that Michael Sommer has won the worlds in this, in this glider yeah. in previous years. So. Yeah. And also uh, Philippe Levin has won yeah. the last world championship oh, in, right. in the glider. Yeah. So, yeah, we hope we made it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you for taking the time to talk with me. I really appreciate it. Okay, thank you.